Good morning, everybody. How are you today on this damp and dreary Saturday morning? Hi, Libby. Hi, Mandy. Good morning. Good morning, Jean. Looking forward to you, me cheering you up. No pressure then. Gosh. <laughs> morning, Rosemary. Morning, Mary. Morning, Patricia. It's lovely to have you with me. I've got I've got real life people in here as well. A person. A person. <laughs> a, re a real life purple person. People person. Right. There we go. So I've got this lovely little Yorkshire scene. It's because I've been watching all creatures great and small. Oh. Um, I could easily be in that. Morning, Janet. Need to be leaning up against that sort of like bit, yes well do you know what that I, i'm following a, a a stock photo an alamy stock photo no shortage of joy with barry around rosemary what are you after morning kate well and actually because it's it's yorkshire these these are all solid walls because the sheep aren't supposed to be roaming free are they but in terms of composition even though we're talking about painting frost good morning lauren the comfort about oh you got covid mm, oh sure. hope you get well soon um so i've made gate holes oh, they're yours. yeah they're i've added they're them they're because they're that means our eye can waft, waft through the layers you see the yeah so how much i'll get done in 45 minutes i have no idea good morning elizabeth good morning trish it is damp and dismal. It's very autumnal, isn't it? You'll tell me later. Oh, God, OK. Um, let's get some birdsong on if I can find the thing with the what's it. Um, as usual, if I have any customers, I will have to nip down. But I've um, I've darkened the shop for the 45 minutes I'm doing the demo to, to just um, see if we can just crack on. I've got a few sheep. Morning, Diane, from North Ants. Oh, I love it. I, I know the new series is not like the old series, but I still like it nonetheless. I haven't watched any of it, but quite a few people have told oh, me it's good. Oh, I love it. Hi, Fiona. Um, I'm definitely there. I'm live streaming. Good morning, Sharon. Morning, Julie. I'm watching the video myself live. So I know it's there. Uh, it might be your internet. It might be this weather that's stopping you from seeing. But it will be available. Um, morning, Anita. It will be available afterwards. Um, 32 of you. Wonderful. My age. <laughs> My age 10 years ago. Are, they all in um, their are you all in your pajamas? <laughs> or are, are you all. Because that's. Sue said to me, I'll, I'll, I'll grass you up. Sue said it was either watch live. From home in her pajamas, or get out into some fresh damp air <laughs> and uh, visit in person. Did and I make the right decision? well, <laughs> but you've had a nice. What you got? What is got it? Coffee, coffee, black coffee. Yeah, That'll yeah. wake you up. All right, here we are. Got me three brushes. I was going to work with my my own paint box. However, they've been so popular, we've sold out, and we can't get any tins for another two weeks. So. Um, I can't advertise my own paints at the moment. We got caught out with a with a, a big, um, quite a few orders in one go, and um, the, the tins we have to ship in from overseas, oh. and they can take a couple of weeks or or longer. Mm. Um, so we're a bit behind on that. Are right. There any four colours you're going to be using? Yes, they are. I'm going to attempt to just use four colours because it's a cold, frosty feel. Mm -hmm. I've got ultramarine, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, and cadmium red. Um, are you on the Isle of Purbeck, Joy? You've got good internet there. I don't even know where that is. I'm rubbish with geography. Isn't it down near Poole somewhere? In that area? Bournemouth. Sure. Bournemouth Poole area. Yes, I think, I, think, I think that's where she was um, tootling over the week for the last mm. class. So what we want to do is we want to make it feel cool and frosty. If we we're painting snow, all we'd do is paint shadows on the gra on the white paper because it's snow. Okay. But frost, you have the grass showing through, don't you? So you need a hint of green mm -hmm. um, to make it work. Now, actually, what um, what I could do 
um, is I could tint the grass a very pale blue to start with and that would make it more of an icy frost with a hint of blue um, but I'm not going to do that today because we have only got 45 minutes um, so uh, I, I doubt I will be able to do it oh you're back now Jill uh, wait, what are you in Wales were you I don't I don't stalk you all I just try to remember what you tell me um, and we start working from lights to darks now I've got my sheep um, they don't necessarily look like sheep yeah I will Elizabeth ultramarine cadmium yellow yellow ochre and cadmium red so ultramarine cadmium yellow yellow ochre cadmium red um, and there won't be much of any of them used I've gone a bit excited with my colors squeezing out um, I'm just going to tint my sheep with a bit of yellow ochre um, this um, lesson demonstration is very good for your dry brush practice because if you remember dry brush actually doesn't mean your brush is dry the problem with these watercolour techniques is none of them make any sense <laughs> a dry brush means a slightly damp brush if your brush was totally dry what would happen it would absorb the paint but not transfer it okay. so it needs to be slightly damp but not wet because if it's too wet you won't have that textured break if it's too dry it won't happen either so it does take a bit of practice um, I'm going to make a very um, wintry green now if you're using my paints or Borada Shidiki Liz um, Shidiki look at me getting all bilingual um, with my own paint box I have a colour called autumn green which is a mixture of uh, ultramarine and cadmium yellow so that's already there now I want to make it paler so I'll add more water to it so you can see I'm bringing that down with more water and I'm, I'm going to be flitting about like a creative butterfly this morning with the time that we've got um, this front bit I want paler and a, a slightly warmer colour because um, that's what it is in the picture um, I'm not showing you the photo because it's got words written all over it and um, I just it, it, it's distracting from the actual image so I've got my green there my number four round and I'm gonna bounce so the white behind is the frost so your white paper is the frost like your white is the snow if you're doing snow um, I will let you know of the, the new sister website that we've created called artstreamclub.com and that will now be the home um, very slowly of all of our recorded classes because you can access them anywhere they are six pounds because we're having to fund a new website and a different online shop um, but what it means is you can browse we've got lots of watercolor snow scenes on there if you want to do Christmas cards and you can browse through my paintings of those lessons so the first thing that crops up you'll see you can browse by watercolor by genre um, within a medium um, and you can click on it pay for it and as soon as you pay for it you'll send a PDF file to download uh, which has a photograph of the painting and a lesson link that you can access wherever you are whatever you're doing and you don't need a Facebook account um, so we're trying to make it more accessible to non Facebook users as well and that's artstreamclub.com yeah, because you, I, and you sent me a thing to, to like, and I liked it. Yes. And then I thought, who is this person that keeps putting these things it's on It's me. Facebook? And then I realised it was you. It's <laughs> me, yeah. We've got, Artstream has got a Facebook page. Um, it's a television with Artstream written on it with lovely rainbow colours behind it. Um, it's just a different way. Um, and then our online shop will be to book for online current live lessons mm -hmm. and art supplies it's it's just otherwise because our website and online shop are going to because we do so many different things mm. it gets so muddy to try and wade through the so many different but things it's like the other day when i couldn't do it live and i wanted to do it on catch up would i would i have to 
differently then? You, you, well, because you're already in the group, you don't yeah. really have yeah, to. Cause, um, yeah, because normally I'd pay anyway and yes. do it when I could. No, that's fine that's if fine. you're already within the group. It's just that we have got quite a few people that aren't on Facebook um, or that may only want to join the pre-recorded versions yeah. and never live. Yeah. So it, it just makes it easier for them to access because it's through private closed YouTube links so it's accessible yeah, straight sure away like Facebook, no, well there, there, there is I mean it's you know for us it's something that works well mm -hmm. but um, if I didn't have to I probably wouldn't use it that much um, but You can see it's got it's it's a cold green because even though it's a warm green because we've got lots of white. So if you'd have done that blue wash before, would you still have done the same green? On the yes, top? yeah, it would. All that would happen is it would just make the white offset. But I've yellowed the sheep instead, so it it with a bit of ochre because otherwise it'd just be too much bits of white, white. and it could look like I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, you haven't finished it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly, and I think sometimes that is the issue with snow and frosty scenes that people um, often won't work with because it does look like they haven't finished. Um, and that's where you have to put in shadows and stuff, probably a little bit more than you normally would add because it has to look like you've finished. It's that, that's the thing with with art it's almost like people are geared to find fault with it straight away um and and we've said it in class haven't we and and on these demos there are there are certain photographs that look like great photographs but they would make awful paintings because they wouldn't look right um we know they're right because it's a photograph i'm going to dilute that even more with water um, we know it's a photograph, so it will work, and our brain accepts it. However, as a painting, our brain automatically won't accept it and just think it's a rubbish artist. It's a shame, isn't it, that we're geared that way? But we are. I am. I'm a terrible critique <laughs> of professional artists. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I think, well, why haven't I got this level of confidence? Because my work's not bad. I don't think it's amazing, but I'm 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 all right at it. I'll it do. Lot to do with it, isn't it. Confidence, yeah. absolutely, <laughs> and self belief. Mm. This is a lot of dry brushing. It is. Now, Rosemary, I know you um, are a, amazingly managed to do a wonderful dry brush one lesson with her squirrel. And that is no mean feat. I've we still can't work out how she did it, and I'm not sure Rosemary knew, but it was amazing well, to she see. Didn't ever do it again. Well, I know <laughs> she's tried a couple of times um, because you know squirrels hold a lot of water, so you can see we're getting a bit of texture. I'm, I'm throwing in some little dark tufty bits, which is the same colour, because that's the thing with this time of the year. There's no general light source is it it's that like today yeah. it's just gray overhead <laughs> and um it's a little bit yeah. you're very quiet on facebook today are you all mesmerized 46 of you 46 of you and you're all quiet i'm really not used to that <laughs> must be something good on telly I'm going to change the colour there and I'm going to change the colour at the front a little. No, there's no sky, it's all hill. So that's why we have to ramp up the the skill a little bit. Because it's never been repeated, Rosemary says. Strange conditions in a kitchen. I think it must be. The wind was in the right place with a with a slight warm breeze from the oven, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So obviously I'm bouncing up. Oh, good. I panic when you can't. You know, it's like when you... Because I worked in primary education. When it goes quiet, that's when you worry because there's something going on. Um, and 
even though I've been out of primary ed as long as I've been done it, as long as I was doing it. How long have I been out of it? Ooh, I don't know. Early 2000s I left. And you never forget, and your ears still pricked up for teacher hearing, that you can hear yeah, conversations well. miles away. Home, my granddad was like that when I was little. He'd always be like to my mother, Marg, Marg, what's he doing? Yeah. What's he doing? I'm sitting for a while, he's very quiet. Because <laughs> I was probably into something. <laughs> probably. Right. Little bit of um little bit slightly darker. It's working lot. Um I'm gonna go with a little bit of yellow ochre, but really, really wishy washy for up here, just so it's a different tone of grass. If you notice I'm bouncing upwards. From Olney, Naomi, lovely. And Melanie from Nuneaton, lovely to have you with me. See, if I went left to right, it could end up looking like water. Because grass grows up, not across, doesn't it? I might make that a little bit, oh, I don't know. Oh, in the lady in the background, because the classroom's open for the demonstration, Sharon, live. This is Sue, one of... Um, she me a lady, Barry. Yes, she obviously doesn't know you. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sue is one of our regular students um, that decided to come join Watch Live today. Hi, Valerie. Um, so, yeah, the classroom's actually open for the demonstrations, uh, the live demos as well, uh, open to the public. Um, so we've got Sue with us today. Uh, we used to have pre pre pandemic. We used to have loads of people in, didn't we? Um, you can get a lovely cup of coffee downstairs. Yeah, and have a nice chat a with me. If you, if really yeah. Like or a hot chocolate this time of year with oh, flummery. I did worry, did think about that because they were having hot chocolate downstairs when I came in. Mm, bit of flummery is quite nice. So flummery is is the cafe's version. Sharon says hello, Sue. Hello, Sharon. Um, <laughs> Flummery is squirty cream and um, marshmallows and sprinkles of chocolate on top. Very nice. Right, so that is my frosty bits. Now, obviously, it won't look frosty. Hello, Diana. It won't look frosty until everything else is on it because, again, it will look unfinished. But when the other stuff is finished, mm -hmm. fingers crossed, mm? come in like yourself. <laughs> Made it <laughs> did. This is the thing in these old buildings. Everything wobbles when there's a bang. Does Sue get more cake? She's the only one in the classroom. I don't. We haven't got any cake provisions today. No. If if you're in the classroom when it's coffee break and the cafe has provided it, sometimes it's biscuits or cake. And the fewer the people there are, the more cake that there is available. I could have purchased my own cake and bought it out. But you, could you could have done. You could have done. I'm doing, um, I've added a bit of ochre into my green to make it sludgier. Mm -hmm. Hello, D. Oh, are you with the lovely Benedict today? It was lovely to meet him in his flashing wellies when he came in. So I'm deliberately leaving more space. So a, a slightly wider, open, frosty bottom. <laughs> it's a trouble with frosty bottoms this time of year, isn't mm. it? Although we've not had any frost yet, have we? <laughs> it's too damp and horrible, but... but then it's very confusing this time of year, and I've I've been caught out. Hello, Mickey from Chichester. Hello. Um, I've been caught out it's where I live in the countryside. Heavy, cold, damp mists. Mm -hmm. So I pile the jumpers on, and by the time I get here, it's at lunchtime, twenty-three degrees, yes, exactly. and then it's it's boiling out. You've got to layer, layer up, haven't you? It's, it's a definite layering gear. 
Oh, yes. Hi, Jenny. It is booster, Vax booster time. Not for me. I'm far too young. I'd like to rub that in. I might rub that line out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless him. He's very pleased to meet me. It was lovely to see him. It is. I I wouldn't necessarily put him in the middle, but I was trying to sketch it very quickly, um, so I shoved him there. Oh, it is. It's flu jab time as well, isn't it? Oh, yes. I think I'm too young for that as well. Gosh, it's just so hard being young. <laughs> it's making you feel better, is it, Larry? Yes. I have the only times I've felt old is when we've had uni students in the class and they're like young enough to be my children and in my head I still feel twenty. Well, I do as well. So um, it's, um, it's quite hard when you try to imagine how you look through the eyes of somebody who is twenty. Is is? Oh, thank you, Libby. It's just um, well, this is it. You do, and because I've got a beard, I think a beard ages you more. You'll, you'll be all right there, see, because you haven't well, got one. Well, I reckon I could grow a good beard now, Barry. <laughs> no. Well, let nature take its course. No. Right, what we're going to do is I need to mix a brownie grey. But if you notice, I haven't got burnt sienna today because I thought I'd talk to you about browns. So if I mix more of a green with the a yellow and the blue, bring some over here, add a bit of red, Red and green will make brown. The more yellow you've got in there, the the more tan the brown is. So I've got a nice brown there, and if I might keep some of that because I want to do the walls. If look at that lovely brown. If I add a bit of blue to my brown, that's when I'll get grey for my dry stone walls. Now, unfortunately, I've got dry stone walls, so that means I have to do the Pamers poem. Every time I do a dry stone wall. And it's called the dry stone waller. And I won't do it in her voice. I am a dry stone waller. All day I dry stone wall. Of all appalling callings, dry stone wallings worst of all. So there you go. Have to do it every time? No idea why. I'm just, I'm just compelled. Now I've got frosty stones. So notice I'm going left to right. Incidentally, the barn is not in this colour. It's more of a brown. Oh, it's a I wonder why it didn't have many windows. Yeah, it's a, it's a little barn for the sheep. Oh, I'll do a little bit more with this, but obviously time waits for no man. Even ginger-bearded ones. little bit of water just on the edge there but I will reduce that with a bit more water so like I'm cooking doesn't it I'm at the bit where if I had students certain students in the room I'd have to remind them to halt to, to breathe because you Doing technical bits. A bit more water for the one up the back. Mm -hmm. yeah, the line. yeah. Hold your breath. It is it is tricky doing all of that kind of stuff, you know. Um now the loving slamming the door today. It's like it's like being in a house full of teenagers, isn't it? <laughs> Go with a bit more blue, slightly darker. And I'm just gonna create some top stones that are a bit darker just so we know that it is going to be a wall so you get a bit of poetry oh you know I keep missing her at Pamers's tour in the Cotswolds isn't she Yeah, yeah, because I, I don't think... I mean, some people are trying to say Banbury's the gateway to the Cotswolds. We're not, really. We're a bit too far north. Um, so I don't think she'll do Banbury. No, but, she, yeah, she's in but she did used to work near here. 
She used to be a secretary. Did she? Yeah. And it's like the canal journeys. Um, um, Tim West and Prinella Scales, they used to come to Banbury all the time because they love it. Yeah, they loved it here. But they're not doing it now. No, I had a call from somebody that was... Um, you know Susan Cowman does all those... Um, yes. Um, and some information, because they thought she might come here. Oh, that'd be um, nice. Which would have been nice, but I don't think she... I don't think they, they must have decided not to. I'm basically scribbling over my wall with a darker colour. And what that's doing is it's, it's just making it like brick, isn't it? It's really quick as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, Super it's, speedy. Mm. Um, and, and it's not just because it's 45 minute no, demo. It's in, you know, any time at all, really. So I'm not actually doing bricks or stones. It's more stones, isn't it? Because it's a dry stone wall, not a dry brick wall, Barry. Get with the programme. Um, but it, it's sort of up and down squiggles mm. um a jerky a jerky squiggle i call it same sort of thing as if i'm doing foliage and i realize i should have done this one first because it's uh, this is wet but you wouldn't have really been able to see what i'm doing if i'd have done this one first and you wouldn't have been able to get it i know <laughs> anybody would think i haven't been doing this for long enough too long um, there isn't a reference for. I am kind of working from one, uh, Diana, but it's it's a it's just a, a stock photograph I've picked up, and it's got writing all over it. So if I had it on here, you wouldn't be able to see what it was. Anyway, because it's very hard to find frosty grass pictures. My Google thing should be really crazy. I bet when they, you know, when they, when they watch me, what, your, um, my so. yeah, it'll be hilarious on my phone, <laughs> especially when we come up with random questions in class. Yeah, you've got to look them up. Yeah, just. I I I worked. At, I heard yesterday what a a a a group word for moles is. All right. It's a labour of moles. Labour of moles. I've not heard that one. No, nor me, because we all know it's a murder of, murder of crows, crows and. Yeah. Yeah, kind of but um, do moles go around in? I d I've never I seen just... group hunting moles. Yes, <laughs> can you imagine if they all decided decided to dig one big tunnel around an area and let it collapse? One big molehill. Um, yeah, I thought they were more sort of solitary type yeah. animals, but maybe not. That's interesting. Yeah, labour labour of moles. Labour of love. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to rub that line out. There is fences along there, but this is just... I do it dark so you can see, but then I like to get shot of them. How am I doing for time? Half past. <laughs> Catch the pigeon. Let's go with this brown colour, which was made from blue and yellow to make green and a bit of red. And it's slightly more honey coloured, so let me go with a little bit more yellow. I could have used yellow ochre, of course, for this. It's almost the same colour, isn't it? <laughs> a grumble of pugs. A grumble of pugs. <laughs> what would we call a group of barries? A whinge. A whinge of barries. But one of me is perfectly enough. Oh, hillocks were created by giant moles. Well, it's highly possible, isn't it? Right, if I add a bit of blue into this brown, it'll be a dark, shady brown for the dark side. I hope you're enjoying this today. A ginger of berries, I like it. And of course you could use whatever colours you wanted. It's not... Um, it's not the law to follow what I'm doing. I just wish I could have demonstrated with my paints, but then you'd all rush and buy them, and then I haven't got any left. As long as you've got stock in for Christmas, uh, Well, this is it. There will be stock for Christmas. Christmas came to the museum yesterday. 
Really? Oh, I'm just starting to <laughs> order my stuff for Christmas. There are lots of holes in this for birds and aeration, but um, let's not bother. I, I do need a really dark, almost purple, brown, black colour. For inside the door and all of that, I'm trying to rush in a in a in a nice way, a controlled, a controlled rush, a bit like the way I, I I plan for spontaneity. I'm not very good with spontaneous things. It stresses me out. The brown is made, Diana, from um, ultramarine and um, cadmium yellow to make a green. And then we add red to make a brown because red and green are complementary opposites. And when you add complementary opposites, you get brown. So you could make it out of, you could mix orange and add blue or purple and add yellow. Um, and you'll get a slightly different brown for each time you do that. There is skylights in this, so I it could be converted, couldn't it? Um, if I add a bit more <laughs> yellow to that green look and add some more red, I have a nice brick tile colour. Uh, yeah. There's a once you understand colour. Oh, by the way, on the new website on on our sister site, I have got a mini colour mixing course, three colour mixing videos plus my colour mixing book as a PDF file um, that you can um, buy. I think it's £20 for the three videos. To make a purple up for some shadow. Or sh you just need to have like a, a, a morning or something, just quickly faddling around mixing colours and playing with them kind of thing. Yes. Without actually doing a picture. I th yeah, do you know what? I think sometimes we put, we put ourselves under far too much pressure to make something. Um, and, and we lose the fact that it's supposed to be a fun exercise. And, and colour mixing for me is just as exciting as, um, as painting a picture. Yeah, that looks a bit like a barn, doesn't it? So... What's got to happen now is I'll add some purple shadows in, but do you know what? We'll make, let's go with a slightly darker brown. So I'll, I've added a bit more blue in there. Nice. Thank you, Libby. You can come again. We shove a tree. We're doing lots of tree work. I think Thursday morning's art for the anxious class is a drawing of a wintry tree, I think because um, trees are everybody's nemesis, aren't they? they are. It's all about the capital Ys. I love trees as well, and it's kind of like... Yeah. It's frustrating, isn't it, when it's something that you admire and yet you can't do it. Also, I think, so if you notice I'm doing lots of Y shapes or V shapes, the, um, the other thing is, is we're not random. The more random we are, the, the worse it gets. And then it no longer looks like a tree. Or all the trees we do look, the look exactly the same. So I generally, what's good when I'm teaching is that I'm usually talking whilst painting. And doing that means I'm not really thinking about the tree. Um, and it becomes a little bit more random. Yeah. It is, and then what I have to do, I mean, it does happen to me occasionally. I will look and I'll go, oh, that looks exactly like that one and that looks like that one. Um, what I will then do is I will deliberately then go and go, right, that's too uniform. Let's bring a branch really far over mm -hmm. like that. And then it, it changes the shape and structure of a tree. Let's put some posts. So, sorry to go back because I'm not <laughs> Let me just check it is that before you. Okay. Is it? What? Is this 
even the right book. <laughs> Where am I? No. I've got the book somewhere. It's because I've got them all out ready for lessons, I'm sure. I filed it somewhere, Sue. Have you got a filing system, Gary? Yeah, it's just Jeff. <laughs> shove it on. Oh, isn't that funny? Well, carry on with your painting. That's then January then. to June. Look for it again in a minute. You've got one down your side. Hang on. I've got, I'll have, I've got another one here. Oh, yeah, in the little pocket. In the pocket. Thursday morning. Uh, 7th of October. Wintry tree practice in pencil. In pencil. Ten till, yeah. pencil. 10 till 12. Well, I might have a go at that. So you could do that live if you, if you didn't want to come in. Yeah, and, and the petrol situation. Or do you walk in? Oh, you're lucky. No. Took me four days to find petrol. I know. I've been listening to people at work. Scary, because I live in the middle of nowhere, don't I? Mm -hmm. So it's um, exactly. Yeah, a bit stuck if not, haven't you? Yeah. Mm, we'll go with. I want to use some of this colour. That was our darker colour. I just want to wiggle an outline of me sheep this one's called Barbara I'm going with a little bit more yellow oak because I'm using a this smaller brush Number one round. And I'm just pressing it on the sheep. So it's, it is dry brush, but it's just giving me wool texture. Now this sheep's on a bank, so I'm going to call it Chris. Chris Eubank, yes. Well done, you have been coming to my lessons well, for quite a while. Like that's that's scary. <laughs> I should see someone. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Now this one doesn't, this one looks more like a bear pig. And that's fine. Because it's far away. Doesn't really matter. When you look at sheep, they're not really that white, are they? They're not really? white at all. They 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 have more. Their their under fleece is white. Because mm. when you see them sheared, yeah. the the outer colour is more of a cream or an ochre. Sometimes they're very ochre, but then the the really soft fleece yeah, underneath is yeah. lovely and that is that lanolin. I don't know. Okay. That's that's lovely and white. The lanolin. lanolin. Not good for me. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Some foxes in lots of stuff. It is. Maybe something like that. Then I'm going to go with my purple colour, which was my ultramarine and cadmium red. Um, my aubergine, or in Barry's paint box, it is Barry. Oh, Barry, we all have Barry the sheep. Um, let's go a little bit darker down here. Now, if I flick downwards, look, with this purple colour, it creates grassy texture further up. The sheep in Turbay look orange from the colour. Oh, I bet they, you know, it's got to make a difference if they're rolling around in mud and some mud is more orange or red. I hadn't thought of that. Bit of dark underneath our little sheep. If I go a little bit dark up against the walls a little bit, that just creates a bit of extra texture. 
and a bit of shadow. So does your Jack Russell, oh dear. Has he been rolling? <laughs> we have that with the, the dogs and the, the foxes. They do. I... <laughs> Each to their own, you know. <laughs> I prefer beans on toast. <laughs> So you can see how now it looks more like frosty grass because we're adding more darks and layers and stuff. And I will do some more purple tufts. I'm adding slightly stronger shadow because as I said we need to make it feel like we're doing all of this on purpose. I'm not sure where that neck's gone on that sheep. I'm sure I drew one in. Probably having a bit of a shiver. Purple. It's it's interesting because I I know with um, a few people have bought my palette of colours. Uh, we do sell them individually, but they said, but your shadow colour is purple, and it is purple. But when it's glazed over the top of another colour, it becomes just a darker version of that colour. It's only when it's on white paper that it becomes purple. I did I, I did it for Halloween because we've got a new um, limited edition spark, semi sparkly colour out for Halloween. It's called Pumpkin Magic and it's an orange I've made with a slight bit of iridescent tone to it. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm enjoying paint making. And if I go with a slightly wishy-washy purple I might be able to bring the sheep forward a little bit. It's all dry brush. Where do you do your paint making at home then? No, here. Oh, here? Yeah, because we, we only do it in small batches. Mm -hmm. So that's what, that corner's all my paint making stuff. Oh, um, okay. But yeah, working on tiles with a glass muller and all of that kind of stuff. It's quite fun. So I, I it's difficult now. Uh, we've got classes, so I either have to do them on days when we haven't got classes or do them after hours before I go home and make just one colour up a time, about eight or ten colours at a time. Eight or ten pans of a colour, not eight or ten colours. Uh, that would take a long time. Thanks, Janet. Thanks ever so much. Aren't you all lovely? Just doing a few little shady bits. I could do some um, branches or something, like more twiggy bits to make it feel. It doesn't, we're not missing the fact that we haven't got a sky, are we? No. No, I'm back. <laughs> I do apologize. I apologise for the internet problems. I've no idea what's gone on. We're having um, having a lot of problems. It's technology. Oh, yeah. I'm back. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the thing about the internet, isn't it? It's. I haven't really done anything exciting while I was um, while you were away. Oh, you did, Barry. I did that dance. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it's we've had a few issues with the internet. We've also got. I was saying to Sue, we, we've had the same problem that when if some if the phone rings and it gets answered, that's when it cuts my live connection. So there's a crossover somewhere. But I think with all the works going on in the town and the weather, it really does I seem to. My landline, because every time my landline was connected, the internet would go off. So in the end, I just got rid of it because it was easier. Yeah. It's so frustrating, it really is. Just doing a few little brown tufts. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to download this and pop it on our website and YouTube channel. Um, but if not, it will stay forevermore. 
on um, on our Facebook page under the video section this is just some of the brown color to do some tufty grass but hopefully it looks frosty does it look frosty and cold or does it look unfinished that looks cold. yeah because I don't want it to look snowy because no. that's different if it was going to be snowy um, we'd have no grass and it would just be white paper. Um, so yes, I'm just. Before you painted that, um, the roof on the, the barn, it yes. Was like there was snow on the roof. Yes. I mean, you could always add stuff. If you wanted to add more frost or something, you could always um, create a bit of. Um, bit of white gel pen on this or something if you wanted just to hint the frost you could as you said you could dry brush the frost on you know as you were doing the roof the first time but I, I want it to look like the grass is frosty only so it's a low a low frost if it was a heavier frost then we'd see frost on the roof and probably on the trees on the tree as well, um, yeah. if you wanted tracery branches tracery branches are the really fine ones that are attached to the leaves that tend to disappear once we've had snow mm -hmm. so if we want to keep this as an earlier scene pre -snow i'm scene. yeah pre-snow scene um i'm just going to do a bit of dry brush brown around the edge of the tree and can you see how that gives it a bit more tree shape I said it'd be dry brush practice, didn't I today? Oh, let's stick. We'll stick a little tree in here as well, because I've still got brown. I have gone over, but I've got to allow you a bit of time. i will be nice, you see. I know it's free, but I'll make up for you the fact that you missed me for two minutes. Did everybody stay during the down? Have How's every, got... No, we've got thirty-nine now. That's still that's still decent. Um, yeah, if ever we have issues with the internet, this this whole thing is set. That as soon as it would, uh, as soon as the internet restores, it comes back. The only problem we get is if there's a total break in the internet, then it will stop the video. Um, but if it just tells you it's paused, then it's it's good just to hang on in there and refresh. Yeah, make a cup of tea or something. Yeah. Well, I, yesterday morning at work, I, my computer was so slow to get going. Oh, do you know? Just, oh, it was a nightmare. Oh, a bit of iridescent white would work as well. You could, if you wanted to, and if you thought you'd really messed up, you could add white pastel chalk on certain parts oh, to right. soften it and, and that kind of thing. Um but I don't think I want to do any more to that. I'll take a photograph of it and post it underneath um, in, in the... Well, I'll post it twice. I'll post it in the um, event section of this and then underneath the video and on the main page um, so you can have a look. But it is greener than it looks. If you wanted to make it less frosty, you could just add more green. Basically, that's that's the best way forward. So the greener or the, the more colour you've got, doesn't really matter what colour you've got, it will just increase the, the point that it's not as frosty. But then if you call it Frosty Yorkshire Morning, people know to expect it's frost. Titles are amazing in a painting that directs people to know what they're supposed to be looking at. Otherwise, they'll look at something else instead and think that's what you meant it to be. So thank you very much. Now I found my book. What's next month? It will be the sixth of October. Oh, and I'm doing coloured uh, coloured pencils, and I'm going to do an autumn leaf, which will be quite lovely. Uh, coming up this week. Tomorrow is Sunday. Nothing's going on. Monday morning live from Wardington is um, the music stand at Ditchley Park in Water Soluble Pen. Monday evening is a view of Howick, Northumberland in watercolours. Tuesday afternoon. Mountains with flowers in a snowy distant mountain. Um, 
it's um no the new art stream site name is on the shop's website um it's www dot i can put that on here um so it's only for the recordings this is www dot art stream club dot com uh, it'll be it'll be me writing this because some reason it won't allow me as the shop to write comments um, I'm interacting as me um, so you'll see me in black and white there there we go there's the link so Tuesday afternoon is acrylics nothing on Tuesday evening Wednesday afternoon is Dudley Castle Dudley in Pestle Dudley home from home uh, Thursday morning is a wintry tree in pencil Thursday afternoon is frosty misty views over Arthog in North Wales so this is give you a bit of an idea of how to do it Friday afternoon is a man rowing a boat across the lake in watercolour and Saturday is calligraphy day and we are doing an illuminated monogram with um, gold gouache um, oh. so that'd be quite fun so thanks ever so much for your company everybody it's been lovely to share my saturday morning with you i hope you have a wonderful weekend stay safe stay dry look after yourselves or don't get sunburnt anything could happen couldn't it over the next week it's <laughs> british autumn uh but thank you very much take care see you soon bye bye everybody bye bye <laughs>